want some money, but you finna hop in. Smoke me, ball like Ben Laden. Man, I'm starting doing construction right now. Are they gonna chill? Might be in some construction noises for this video. But that's that's fitting, you know what I'm saying? Because we under construction in this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? We always building <coughs> in this motherfucker. So, you know. We got the hammers going in the background, the drills. We getting our foundation straight, everything situated. And um, you know what I'm saying? We gonna weather, we gonna weather whatever storm life got to throw at us. Is this taking out this podcast? I'm Saint Uno. And um this week I wanted to kind of shift gears a little bit. Um and just I feel like the, the podcast has been really <clears throat> like goal oriented and goal driven and like accomplishing things has been sort of the you know the spirit of it like entrepreneurs and artists and, and the hustle you know like that Atlanta hustle gritty like let's get to it let's get it we all gotta get it that's been kind of the the mood I guess for the first couple of episodes and here on the 10th episode 10 is like the end of a cycle kind of deal or beginning of a new however you want to see it i wanted to change gears to not be so <clears throat> focused on going out and getting stuff and focused a lot more on receiving and not even just receiving because receiving is still manifesting so you're still doing some kind of work but really just like surrendering i guess this will be that's that's a good title for this episode surrendering because um you know in life, it's life. You gotta fight hard for what you believe in. You know, every day's an uphill battle. But at the end of the day, sometimes one toolkit that I feel like people don't use enough is the surrender toolkit. And it's very necessary and useful, not just for like mental health, but also, well, I don't wanna talk about manifesting. Like, we'll, we'll get to that later. But, um, yeah, like, if, if you, if you, if you're like, an artist, entrepreneur, or you have any type of goal in life and you're not quote unquote there yet. <clears throat> um, you know, life can be, you can, it's easy to get into a thing where you're always beating yourself up and then you can look up and it's like, I'm always in the future looking forward to something that happened so much to the point that I'm not even like, there's a whole world of stuff going on here right now. That is made for me to enjoy. And it's okay to have goals and everything, but it's like I saw a Gary V video and he's like, you know, talking about how like people are always making fun of like, oh, rich people problems and you're crying in your Ferrari. But he said like he knows like actual people who cry in their Ferrari and that shit is not, you know, cute or anything. You know what I'm saying? So like money or even fame or success or however you want to define it, <clears throat> it's not going to really like we're all trying to complete something you know what i'm saying all this all this like achievement and everything like we feel like we're not enough just me in a hoodie smoking pot in my car like unless i have like x amount of followers or x amount of engagements or and it's just like really you guys say fuck that shit for your sanity because um you know, you just do, like, you just literally have to, like, say fuck it, and, and it's like, oh, but I'm not where I want to be, well, just get comfortable where you are, and if you don't want to hear that for just your mental sanity, like, oh, it's not good enough, well, like, it's, it's, it's bonuses to manifesting as well when you surrender and let go, because when you talk about, like, vibrationally attracting things, which, the theme on this show um you want to be in the the vibration like you don't get the life 
you want. You get the life that you're that you attract, you know, that you're in. So you walk the walk, you talk the talk. Nine times out of ten, if you're complaining, you're like, you know what I'm saying, always driven and focused on getting somewhere, then you're never relaxed enough, in the vibe enough to already, like, how does it feel instead of maybe <clears throat> thinking of how do I get to somewhere, just be in the space of I'm there. And, all right, it's pretend it's imaginary, but keep practicing and you'll get better at imagining you being where you see yourself but also being cool that you're right here you know what i'm saying like you're taking that vibe from where you want to be and bringing it to where you are now so that you can a just maintain your sanity but also move closer to what you want to attract and um yeah, the, the the idea for this kind of dawned on me this week because it's like a, it's one of those things you can't explain, but you know you can attest it's true. Like, it's like when you lose something. Like, I lost something this week. I forgot what it was. I lose shit all the time. It's bad. But I lost something. And then, like, you always find it when you're not looking for it. Like, trust me, from somebody who loses stuff all the time, anyone knows me, like, they can attest. I'm always constantly losing shit. It's not good. I need to work on it. But when I do eventually find it, it's never, like... When I just lost it and I'm in the search for it, it's always like, I'm just doing some completely unrelated other shit. And it's like, what? This shit? I left this right here? Like, my dumb ass. So, that, you can't deny that phenomena is is a thing. And then it plays out on all, just beyond, like, when you lose something, you know? It's like, it's a, it's like a vibrate, it's like, focus and our attention is like, just gives resistance to things. It's like waiting for the bus to come, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's all the same shit. It's like when you're just, uh, like, focused on something, like, it can't move. It can't do anything. Like, like imagine, like, you staring at somebody when they're trying to, like, piss or, like, to, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be weird or, like, trying to have sex. It's going to be like, oh, I'm like, like, things can't, when you're anticipating it, it can't just come and tap you on the shoulder, you know? Like, I know I'm speaking in, like, not reality right now, but we're going to do that. From time to time, I'm taking out this podcast because you know, you know, reality is changing on the daily, and it is subject to change based on your perception and my perception, and yeah. So, um, yeah, surrendering to the moment. You know, if you gotta smoke an L, and just take your mind off things. Some people smoking their mind gets too overactive, so I don't know. To each his own, but whatever can get you off of your where you want to be and into the now is going to ultimately get you closer to wanting to where you want to be too and then also ensure that when you do get to when you do get to where you want to be you're in the the right emotional state to even enjoy it so you're not crying in your ferrari and you can um oh shit you're not, you're not crying in the in the ferrari because you wasn't crying in the nissan when your sign was falling down and shit you feel me so you already know how to be happy and the Nissan, so when the Ferrari come, you're gonna be happy too, and you're not gonna be out of the moment. Take it out, podcast. <laughs> Let me hit that door. 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 Smoke. I need it. I really need it.